everyone and welcome to a new The Walking Dead Telltale episode. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to continue episode 3 from A New Frontier. Oh, this is actually like the middle episode of this entire season. I just realized that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to continue this game today and what we saw last time was that we got into Richmond and David let us in there. And now we're going to visit Kate. She's in the hospital there, but things are still a bit mysterious about how they do things in Richmond and what is actually going to happen, what their plan is with us and if David is actually will actually be capable of punishing the guys who well opened fire to their family and attacked that other town. So yeah, I think there are still some things we're gonna find out. So let's go. Hey! Hey kid. Got everything you need? Uh yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> get off me! Oh, I can't say that. I was gonna say the same about you. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. You're a lucky man, David. We're all lucky. Uh, what, you okay? Uh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the doc. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you alone. Oh. I'm scared, Javi, more than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? I feel yeah, the same, to be honest. Like. This place gives me the creeps. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd been won over by the security here. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. How could we? This place. It's a cage. I hear you, Kate. But we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. <sighs> Whatever. Just please. Please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. David huh. already doesn't trust us. I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but... All she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills nine out of ten. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. That would be Eleanor. One of my friends you threw in quarantine. Well, she's no use to anyone there. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Well, that's already Green. one. I'll have Ava bring her here. But then there's I still this other two. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can vouch for the rest of them too, right? It doesn't work that way, but we'll make the case for them soon. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you, okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. I don't trust that doctor too Remember for some what I reason. Said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. I honestly feel so sad about Mariana not being here. Not being able to see your father again. Yeah. 
It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy Let's with their just... whole lives. Mm. No complaints here. I get that you guys have a way of doing things. Thank you. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Uh, yeah, the Spinach cake. from Clint's garden? <laughs> or a baked delicacy but by yours? But we need all of it. Everything looks so good, I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so... Oh, so they're the leaders. Yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. No offense, but what qualifies you to lead? Testing us already? Just curious who's leading the troops into battle. Everything you see, we built ourselves. If that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. I've seen that mark a few times. You probably saw it at the gates. Right, Javi? We all took it as a sign of commitment. It was a crude Oops. answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim. One worth fighting for. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Max, how did this start? He's gonna lie, of course. Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? He didn't know. Answer her. I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. You just asked. We'd have given it to you. That, that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. Clementine? A girl we had trouble with in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. I would say not. Uh, Clementine's not a bad person, at least from what I've seen. Of course you'd say that. You got that 
honor among thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? It's his you brother. You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. You think I'm bad? You have maniacs running around out there who are much, much worse. I'm not sure what you mean. We can't we talk about Mariana. To the highest standards. Avi? You have something to say? Oh my god, I can't! I want to say it. One of your people, some asshole called Badger, he put a bullet in a little girl, my niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No, we need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They used tear gas. There was nothing left of Prescott when they were done. Badger did that. Not me! But you he were was right there next to him. Yeah. Me. I tried to get him to stop, I swear! David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. Oh, shit. What did I, I do? I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. I really fucked this up, right? Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? Fuck. Uh, you know, I wanted to to keep my mouth shut and not say it, but they were annoying me. And, and at first I wanted to choose not to tell it, but I don't know, I just did. I don't know, I, I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You're it's just so tempting to, to choose thoughts. the wrong choices. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said- Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! Stop, you're gonna get us killed. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. This is so fucked up. Would it really have been different if I chose not to tell? Did you remember piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. Everything was going okay. At first, I don't know what happened back there. Remember when I said I was yeah, going to make well, the right choices now? I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. <sighs> Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. Now let's just see what we got. What's that? A map. It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Oh, okay. This is where they are now, or Pretty is that sure where we have to go? to go there. Oh, we have to go there. We don't even know where the hell we are on this thing. Okay, there's Richmond. That helps. That's where we are, and that's where we need to go. Just gotta head north. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. 
And to find North, we need to find the North Star. That's it. We need to go this way. Oh. What else is in there? I immediately picked the right one. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Let's go. Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. You won't lose anyone else. I won't let that happen. I'm gonna hold you to that, Javi. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back. And I got yours. Of course. After you. I don't like what's happening, but I honestly doubt if it would have been different if I just didn't tell them, honestly. I gotta tell you, man. I thought you and Kate were... Yeah, everyone you did. Know. I wouldn't have guessed she was married to... not you. To not I you. I ain't judging, mind you. I'm just... curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know, but... She's my brother's wife. She's family. End of story. Come on, man. You're not a dumbass. When it comes to these kind of things, the story never really ends. Not for everyone, at least. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think it's as complicated as you let it be. Difference between you and me, brother. Eleanor and I, we were... something at some point. But nothing now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Alive, people. I got him. Maybe we should do something as well. To this? Someone help! Uh, fuck. I knew this wasn't going to be alright. That last damn one. I knew it.
thought you were getting out of here. I was. But the walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. The new frontier kick you out? Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. I got it under control. This is just a minor setback. David told us a place to lay low for now. David? That asshole's still around? She this knows him. gonna sound really weird, but he's my brother. What? Wait, this place we're going, David sent you there? It's supposed to be safe. Clem. You can't trust him, Javi. But he wouldn't just I send his the hard way. brother somewhere he would die or something like that. That isn't safe. I never wanted to need people again. But I had nowhere else to go. The New Frontier gave me this and made me one of them. They promised they'd help him. That turned out to be a lie. I'm talking about the AJ? Okay, boss. I'm going to end the episode here. I know I'm, I'm ending it on a really shitty moment because I want to find out what the fuck is going on as well. But you can find that out next time. Uh, for now, this shit is so confusing because um, at this moment I'm seriously doubting whether we would have been able to, to stay there if we hadn't told them about Mariana. But I think it would have ended the same way, honestly. Um, I think we would have gotten kicked out anyway after all yeah it's a bit fucked up because i want to trust david i mean he's javi's brother and even though they're not the best of friends i mean you, you think you can trust your brother especially as, especially because javi has looked after his children for all this time and and then he has them back and it's like oh i have my wife back i have my son back and i just sent my brother away because i don't need him anymore and it's you know it's not as it's not entirely his saying, of course, because um, he's not the only leader there and there's other people that he said I had to leave. I kind of fucked it up as well because I shouldn't have said what I said. But for now, we'll just have to find out where this is leading us. So I think that was this episode. Did you like it? Then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I hope to see you next week. Bye!